been going on across other continents for about seven years now, but it's time for Africa. It's Africa's time to celebrate creativity, those that have been using art and the internet and making their voices heard. And that's what we're going to be showing you on this week's edition of At House, the SSA YouTube Award by Google. We'll be bringing you all the sights and the sounds of this lovely event which is taking place in Johannesburg, South Africa on this week's edition of At House. A warm welcome. I'm Melinda Akinlami. The African woman is intelligent, beautiful, hardworking, and everything an ideal woman should be. She has great independence of spirit. It's not every time one gets a chance to see over 200 creators from across Africa in one room. But thanks to the YouTube SSA Awards, that has become possible as the organizers believe it's time to celebrate ingenuity that can be found in the continent. We see an amazing diversity of talent, as you've seen arriving here on the red carpet this evening, not just in terms of the different countries that are represented, Mozambique, Tanzania, Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, I'm bound to forget, somewhere South Africa, but also the types of content that people in Africa are making, creators here in Africa are making and distributing on YouTube. And so for us, the time is right to begin celebrating that and encouraging those people and sharing in their success. The works they create are on the sidelines. <laughs> The brilliance, colour and talent it takes to put it all together should never be taken for granted. And according to the organisers, Google, the time for Africa to be loud and proud of her achievements is now. For us, actually, we haven't done very many uh, award ceremonies at all. And so we've only just begun doing them around the world. And so really here, in fact, here, Af Africa actually this year will be one of the few that gets its own uh, award ceremony. Many creators are looking beyond the challenges they face daily and churning out wonderful content, making an impact across the globe. Many stories strike a chord at this award ceremony, such as this music conductor from Tanzania, Hakima Raymond, who sharpened his skills online and dared to share his passion in his home country, where classical music is anything but popular. My name is Hakima Raymond. I am from Tanzania. I grew up in the country. And throughout my life, I had this passion of classical music. I had serious limitations when it comes to education, in terms of playing the piano, playing it right, and also when it came to conducting, conducting it right. Thanks to the internet era, I could find materials via Google and also get good examples from the YouTube of professionals who are doing the same. And with time, I could realize my own music making, which involved the Dark Horse Society and Orchestra that has grown throughout Africa and now is recognized around the world. The visuals breathe life when he appears on stage with his band as one of the performers for the night.
Welcome, guys. In Mozambique, Tofo Tofo are rather popular in Maputo, dancing on the streets and putting their twists and turns online. This song was about dance and something about that something about that beat just makes you, it takes you back to Africa. But things took a different turn when award-winning musician Beyonce stumbled on their video on YouTube. What's your name? I'm Beyonce. Uh, oh, okay. Beyonce? Yeah. The next challenge now is to put what we have to do. Right. Yeah, hopefully I can do it as well. One, two, three. I saw this YouTube clip maybe about a year ago, and I held on to that locked it away in my memory bank, and I said, okay, for my next project, when I do up tempos, that's how I want to dance. And now you know we'll choreograph the steps for one of her hit tracks, Run the World, Girls. The limit on our platform is only ever the creativity of the people who are, who are creating for it. So we have, you've seen them tonight, dancers who've taught Beyonce to dance. You have singers from Nigeria and from Kenya who've sung on their own, have got hundreds of millions of videos. And then you've got, actually we had it over breakfast this morning, a creator from South Africa met the chef from Kenya who works on YouTube and had taught him how to cook. All of these things, large and small, are just an amazing way to use this platform. Creating steps is one thing, but making people laugh is another. Go online and you'll probably know the six-year-old child act, Emanuela. If I ask you a question, I don't know the answer. You give me 1,000 euros. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Which bird has two legs, two hands, two wings, and can fly? <laughs> bird. Yes. Two legs. Yes. Two hands. Yes. Two wings. Yes. I can fly. Exactly. <laughs> I have put myself in trouble. You can search on Google. Oh. I don't know the answer. <laughs> Thank you. Come, come, come. Emanuela, or are you? Which bird has two legs, two hands, two wings, and can fly? Oh, you're done. You have asked a question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hundred now. I don't know the answer. Eh? I, I'm not playing again. <laughs> so, the winner for this one is Mark Angel Comedy! Little wonder then that her team were rewarded as the comedy show for 2016. Uh, on behalf of Mark Angel, which I call the boss, Dennis Inigwe and Emanuela, we want to say thank you so much for this. We are so grateful. Thank you, thank you very much. So broadcasters are really starting to make their mark on YouTube in Africa. And as a drama student, I feel very proud to announce uh, the winner or the nominees for the best broadcaster. Shining brightly as the broadcast station for 2016 is Channels Television, flooring SABC and ETV to get the prize. And the winner is, dum dum dum, Channels Television. Um, it's a huge honor to stand before you today. Um, would like to appreciate Google and YouTube. Um, without them, we won't be here today. Um, we also like to thank our viewers who spend time to watch the content we create every day. And then we're dedicating this to all the creators in the house that are giving Africa a voice. Say you too. 
Say you too. Say you too. Beyond rewarding excellence, there were also energetic performances from several musicians, such as hip hop artist Timaya from Nigeria. Every time they be put on sin, some of them want to wine for me. Some of them move down for me. We love the way the ladies who wine for me. Everybody now. Like a Songwriter and dancer from Tanzania, Vanessa Midi. Amongst the other amazing artistic talent in Africa who made the night one to remember. Was known as a performer who was sensitive to the quality of the acting and stage. Like Ogundi, most of his early works are Yoruba folk operas. The rhythm is provided by drums played in the background. The songs are done in Yoruba language and dancing was an integral part of any of his performances.